All new from Guide, the E2 Thermal Camera Extraordinaire. Better be keep on testing. Shout out to Guide. Thanks so much for sending the E2 in for this review. Guide says one. All new from Guide, the E2 Extraordinaire Thermal Camera. I'm telling you, this thing goes from 25 hertz up to 9 hertz for frame rate, up to 550 degrees Celsius measurement range, and 256.192 IR resolution. So it is powerful. Hey, not only is it powerful, it has brand new IR Perfect Clear technology. What that does is it enhances the details and reduces the overall noise of the image. What does that mean? Well, much clearer in real time. Hey, not only that, you can use it as a real plain camera. Two megapixel visible light camera. It has video streaming as well as recording, Wi-Fi, and OTA upgrade. Oh yes, the easier, well they call it easier EASIR series, brings up much more powerful and smoother overall thermal imaging experience compared to some of the thermal cameras out there. Jing is top notch, ships in this gorgeous black box. Thermal camera sensing beyond visible from a guide. Uh, yeah, open up that leaflet and you have a really nicely done box holding your precious new thermal camera. And we have those big foam inserts as well. So a lot of protection as it's traveling over the pond. Of course you get your USB-C charging cable, fairly long as well, not this tiny short thing we see sometimes. And also you get your USB-C adapter so you can charge quicker than just plug it into a regular charger. So nicely done guide. Once again, great attention to detail, nice packaging. Love it, love it. Guide also gives us a QR code so we could go ahead and download the documents if we want to save for later access as well. We have that thermal quick start guide. Small manual, but basically has most of the info that we have uh, that we want. Um, emissivity, very important when it comes to thermal cameras. Here we have an emissivity guide telling us what the emissivity is for different objects. Uh, list of items included with your thermal camera. And of course, we get that schematic here giving us the breakdown. This one does video as well as standard photos. Look at those color picks. I love color picks. All in all, very decent, very useful guide will help you get started onto your thermal imaging journey. Fit form and functionality. Let me tell you, this is top notch. Very, very solid, well-built electronic test instrument here. Fits by hand like a glove. There's our trigger right here. Four soft touch buttons, all you need to control your camera, easily accessed from the front. On the back, of course, we have our IR sensors. And man, oh man, this is a good looking camera. Once again, built to last, this thing is definitely gonna stand uh, the test of time. I'm pretty sure of it. Of course, it's brand new, but that being said, it just feels well made. And you know, that accounts for a lot. Overall, very impressed quality-wise. Nice grip here. Uh, it's hard to describe. It's almost like a soft, rubbery, but it's it's not rubber. It's a just a very good use of, I don't know, textile. Whatever they used, it works, it works. Right now, I'm gonna go into video recording mode. Super simple. Just hit that trigger, that little red trigger right there. And it takes you into video recording mode. So simple, so easy. No bumbling, fumbling. Look at that. Looking at a soldering station right now. It's been on for a while. Look at that heat. Of course, white is hot. So I just saved the video by hitting the trigger one more time. Go into gallery mode, view videos, bada boom, bada bing. Press play and there is your video. Instant gratification, I'm telling you. So simple, so simple. Awesome. 
E2 has a bevy of menu operations, really accessible just by using one finger. How much easier is that? Everything from palette center point, temp unit, ROI measurement, temperature alarms, distance, distancing units, uh, the auto off you can enable or disable, brightness, even has floodlight or a laser feature. Laser can be pretty handy if you're looking for something finite or specific. Uh, look at that nice red laser. Once again, easy to invoke or remove just by the touch of a button. Functionality wise, it is loaded. Multiple languages as well, uh, not two or three, but literally dozens. So um, no matter what your language, chances are you'll find it in the language menu. Very cool. You can reset, you can format from scratch, you name it, uh, lots of options here. Even has a visual light, so if you don't like the choppy blocky, you can put it to the high res 1200 by 1600, and you will get a much sharper, clearer image in your camera. Look at that, already. And when your battery's less than 20%, you get a visual warning. Full charge takes about two to three hours with the included USB-C. And yes, the floodlight feature, you guessed it, it floods your subject with light. Takes up a lot of battery though. Here I am looking at a Dell computer that's had some overheating issues, at, at least we thought uh, with that heatsink. But um, lo and behold, it's not overheating. No nope, temperature looks to be well within spec. This is another instance where a thermal camera can come really handy and save you a lot of time when it comes to troubleshooting. All right, right now we're going to check the temperature of water being heated up by a soldering iron. It doesn't take long to heat, believe you me. And there we are right now, sitting at 81.5 degrees, 81.3. Compare that to the Fluke, 82.1, awfully close. Take note, this is a full-size thermal imaging camera full size. That means it fits your hand. You can't stick it in your pocket. Well, you can try, but that'll look a little weird. Compared to this little one, for instance, you know, these ones that just stick onto your mobile phone and then plug in or via USB-C. Uh, no, this is a full size thermal imaging camera. And that being said, I think it's a good thing. Hey, it's nice to have that uh, solid portability where you don't always have to rely on a third party device, like a mobile device uh, to get your images. So full size thermal camera that's a plus closing thoughts on the e2 two like thermal camera oh this is a keeper yeah the easier series two like thermal camera provides different configuration options two to be exact 120 by 90 as well as that 256 by 192 this new real-time ir technology really makes a difference when it comes to detail and noise reduction man oh man some of those images look amazing also having that two megapixel visible light camera with the streaming video wi-fi recording whoa this little guy does it all okay it's not that little I also like the fact that you don't have to be rocket science to figure this one out. Everything is very intuitive. The GUI, the whole nine yards, it just works out of the box. Overall solid performance, man oh man, I really enjoyed this. Things I wasn't so happy about, well, you know what, the documentation that's included can definitely be better. As well, that battery life, ah, I wish it was a little bit longer. It takes about two hours to charge, so if you do run out of juice, be prepared to wait. There's also a macro close-up add-on for this camera. That's right. Why didn't I get it? Good question. Anyways, for close-up electronics works, you want to make sure you're going to get that little add-on. End of the day, this is a full-blown professional thermal imaging camera. Does a lot more than a lot of them out there for about the same price. Extremely well-made, high quality. You got to get one. The Guide E2 Thermal Imaging Camera gets a solid four Excellent. out of five stars. Yeah, this is one quality piece of kit I know you'd love to have. 
on your bench or in your toolbox. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one. Keep on testing.